Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up what's called a lightbox gallery in Moodle. Um, a lightbox gallery is just a really good way of displaying a collection of photographs um, and you can set it up so your students can make comments on the gallery as well. Um, first thing to do um, is to get all your photographs that you want to add to the gallery um, and put them into one folder. So I'll show you that here. So we've got a few photos here and some other ones in here I want to use. So I'm just going to copy all of those. I'm going to create a new folder and call it just uh, my lightbox gallery. And we'll paste those ones into there. And then we'll copy these ones as well and put them in. And we'll select some here and put these in as well. Okay, so I've got all the photographs that I want to use um, collected into one folder. And then what I want to do is create a zip file out of this folder. So I right click over it and go send to compressed zipped folder and so here we have now is this zipped folder um, called my lightbox gallery and it's this file that we'll upload to Moodle so if you go into my course now what I want to do is go into my file area and upload that zip file okay so I'm going to click upload a file and I'm going to browse to that file there and that's the one there, my lightbox gallery, and you can tell it's a zip file. This one is a folder because it's got the folder next to it, but this one's got the book icon next to it there, and that's the zip file. So I'll click open, and we upload the file. And so you can see the files here, my lightbox gallery zip. And so all we need to do now is unzip that file. And so it's now unzipped all these photographs, and we should have an extra folder there now. Yep, so there it is. There's a folder in my Lightbox Gallery. If we click into that, we can see all these images here that we had in that folder. Okay, so we now need to go back into the site, and we need to add the Lightbox Gallery in. So we'll turn the editing on. And it's in the resource part. So if we click down here, and say Add a Lightbox Gallery. and we'll just call it my lightbox gallery. Now what we need to do is see where our images are held. So we can either choose main files directory or my lightbox gallery at the minute. Now that's the folder. The w when we unpacked the file it created that folder that said my lightbox gallery. That's where our images are held. We can put a summary in here as well. Um, so I'm just going to say our palette our photographs. And we can select a certain amount of images per page. So let's say we'll say 10. Now if you want to automatically resize them, now I would recommend doing this because if you've got some of your, your photographs are, are large, then this will automatically resize it to fit on the screen OK. And we'll say, we'll allow comments on it so students can make comments on the gallery. They won't be able to make comments on individual photographs, but they will be doing the whole gallery. Now there's a couple here, make public and allow RSS feeds. If we say both of them are yes, we'll be able to pull an RSS feed out of the Moodle course and let's say have it so that whenever a photo is added to this gallery, you know, it, it gets added to the RSS feed so you can incorporate that with things like Facebook and stuff like that and Google Reader and things. And there's extended image info, so it looks at the metadata on the image um, and displays some of that, but we'll just keep that one at no. So I'm just going to save and return to the course. So if I now change my role to the student, this is the course, and you can see in topic one we've got my lightbox gallery. If they click on that, it takes them through to this. Now you see we've got two pages with ten photographs on each page because this is um, what we wanted. We've got just the file name there. If we'd said extended data, there would have been more information there, things like time the photograph was taken, the date it was taken, etc. Because we enable the RSS, we've got the RSS feed there. So what we could do is right-click over that, 
go to copy shortcut and then paste that shortcut into any sort of RSS reader or anything that you can incorporate RSS feeds with. And the good thing is once you click on these it presents them just really nicely and you can go through the image like this and you see the way it's automatically resizing all these to fit the size of the screen and I'll do this for the first 10 photographs you'll then have to go into the next page to do it to do the next lot There we go. And you can see down here we can click add comment. And there's my comment appeared down there. So that's the Lightbox Gallery in Moodle. Really easy to set up um, and I think it, it can look really impressive.